Encephalitis is characterized by inflammation of the brain, often resulting from viral infections. While less common than other neurological conditions, it can have severe consequences. There are many causes for encephalitis, ranging from viral infections to autoimmune responses. Several factors can contribute to the development of encephalitis. The most common cause is viral infections. Herpes simple virus, varicella roster virus, and enteroviruses are among that can lead to it. These may directly invade the brain tissue or trigger an immune response that results in inflammation. In some cases, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy brain cells, leading to encephalitis. This autoimmune response can be triggered by infections elsewhere in the body or may be idiopathic or with no identifiable cause. Certain viruses transmitted by mosquitoes, such as West Nile virus, Japanese encephalitis virus, and Eastern equine encephalitis virus can cause this condition. Although less common, bacteria such as Streptococcus and Mycoplasma pneumoniae can cause the condition. Recognizing the symptoms of encephalitis is crucial for early intervention and improved outcomes. It often begins with flu-like symptoms, including fever and headache. But as the inflammation progresses, individuals may experience confusion, disorientation, alterations in consciousness, and even personality changes. Seizures are also common in encephalitis and may be a prominent symptom. Motor abnormalities, speech difficulties, and weakness are indicative of the involvement of specific areas of the brain. Diagnosing encephalitis involves a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and imaging studies. It is necessary to do a thorough examination of symptoms, medical history, and neurological status. Analyzing cerebrospinal fluid through a lumbar puncture can provide valuable information about the presence of infection or inflammation. MRI and CT scans help identify structural changes in the brain, and blood tests can detect the presence of specific viruses or antibodies. Treatment for encephalitis depends on the underlying cause and severity of symptoms. If a viral infection is identified, antiviral medications like acyclovir are administered to inhibit viral replication. In cases of autoimmune encephalitis, immunotherapy using corticosteroids or intravenous immunoglobins may be employed to modulate the immune response. Supportive measures, including hydration, fever control, and respiratory support are crucial in managing the symptoms and preventing complications. Seizures, which are common complications, are managed with anticonvulsant medications. Encephalitis can have long-term consequences, including cognitive impairments, seizures, and behavioral changes. Preventing it involves vaccination against preventable viruses, practicing good hygiene, and avoiding mosquito bites in regions with mosquito-borne viruses.